John Captain Xavier and here is the footage from the war uh, our September war here at the Makerspace. We had an excellent turnout all of the regulars plus a couple of new faces. We ran uh, mostly the same rounds. We did add uh, remove one and add one. We took out capture the flag and, and added in uh, the round we call Carpe Testiculum which we will get to. I did run uh, a plethora of uh, loadouts. I ran all of the ones that I was planning to with the exception of the Photon. I didn't end up running the Photon because my trigger has broken. I will need to get that repaired or replaced, but uh, that shouldn't be too difficult. But I ran everything else and uh, had a lot of fun and in fact uh, far more success than I was expecting to. First round was our what we call 315s. Each player has three lives. When you get hit, it's a 15 second respawn. You can move while you're respawning. Once you've been tagged three times, you're out. Goes until you have the last person standing. Uh, first round was uh, single shot weapons only. And technically this qualifies as a single shot weapon. So this is what I ran. Uh, and uh, it worked pretty well. I also did have a single shot sidearm, though it didn't see a whole lot of use because I didn't have an easy way to holster it. And uh, yeah, so here's the footage from that. Yeah. One, fifteen. Did that hit me? Okay. That you got me in the leg, I'm pretty sure. One, 15. One, wait, I'm still in. Well, you got it to the face, so... He's run out? No idea. Looks like it, he just stepped out. Did you? Is your loadout? I am able to many recruit rocket. Excellent. And, uh, this is my loadout. What do we have here? I have a uh, Halo MA40. Very nice. Very nice. Um, got the grenade. Very nice. Very nice. I do have a uh, it's a backup hammer shot. Excellent. Very handy. Uh, in case I need another backup. Very good, very good. Long range, accurate, good for a round like this. Excellent. You have your dagger, fabulous. And because about 9,000 people are going to ask, tell me about this helmet. So the helmet is from a website called Xcoser. Very good. Um, it's 
not really a protection helmet, but it does look really nice. It does look schnazzy. Yeah, yeah. The uh, a lot of things have been added to it now. Yep, like I help. I remember. I helped add the rail. And the, very good, very good. And the the visor you made, right? Yeah, I uh, had to buy mesh separately, molded it into shape, about the right shape. Yeah, and yeah. Can you get this nice blue color? Yeah, yeah. To try to mimic in game what the color of the visor should be. Yeah, yeah. Looks really cool. All right, excellent. All right. Second round was also three fifteens, but it was any loadout uh, you wanted. So I ran uh, my. Nexus Pro with a Tachi mag in it and I don't believe I ever I think I had one of these as a sidearm But it never came up because I never even uh, used all of the rounds in my one Tachi mag I had a couple of really good shots uh, But uh, I got suckered in the end. Here's the footage from that round You got me in the hand. Oh, one! 15. Move it along. Thank you. I'm impressed. <laughs> Oh, that 
second. I was like, I thought I felt something. I'm out. Right. Who are you and what are you running today? My name is Brandon and this is my Griffin. So, very shiny. Back and build at 42.5 running Ooh. worker smooth. Very nice. Very nice. Because everything else I own is too high for this event. Yes. Well, we will we will be running higher and higher FPS cap events eventually. But this is a really close quarters field for that. Eventually I'll have a, an opener, a more open field. What is this rig on your back? This is a third person GoPro mount that I'm trying out. Very so nice. Hopefully get a camera view that shows the side of the blaster and the side of my head so you can actually see what I'm aiming at. Oh, that, yeah, that looks really cool. Otherwise I'm gonna get home and I'll have like three hours of the back of my head. We'll yeah, see. who knows? Do you have any kind of a backup, secondary? Got lots of magazines there. Oh, very nice. I've got one of those too. Very nice. It, it's technically a blaster. Technically? Technically. Very good. Excellent. Next round was plant the flag, which is similar to capture the flag, except both teams start with a flag and there is a, a base on the far side in enemy territory that you're trying to plant the flag into. Both teams are trying to do it at the same time. Uh, I decided to go with an actual really effective loadout, so I went with my uh, my round shield and my Fortnite pistol. Uh, the only downside is I didn't actually have a holster for it, which led to some some issues. Definitely need to get, or you, I probably that Clue Bay leather one that I was sent would probably work quite well for these, and I just need to get it strapped for a thigh rig, and, and then it would be really quite excellent. Uh, I did also decide I really wanted to organize my team and see if we couldn't do a real quick push and, and, and get this one knocked out. And uh, I think the footage speaks for itself on how well that worked. Push it up, push it up. Got him. Ah, hey. Got people covering. Press you down. We need to clear him up, clear him up. Point! Point! Game! Oh. And what are you running this round? Who, who are you? Uh, this is I am I am a sweaty middle-aged man. Yes. My name is Dr. Flux. I'm here to show you this awesome product from Out of Darts. What? <laughs> what? Uh, this is a cage fighter. What? I think it's uh, what? 3S? I don't even know. Kraken's 3S with what wheels? Daybreak. So lovely. Very fun. Got these super long mags. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. Mega. Mega. Got another one of these. Got your backup. Yep, yep, yep. You've got ammo pouch. You got a dagger. Bunch of grenades. Bunch of grenades. Nice. Gotta have grenades. Got a sword back there, apparently. I do. Very nice. Gotta have your melee. All right. Excellent. I pro. Very important. Thank you. The next round was a uh, bucket of pistols. It's a, a life pool round. Each team has 12 uh, hammer shot or sweet revenges, six of each actually in a bucket. And those are your lives. And those are also the only blasters you're, you're allowed to use. You can use melee, you can use thrown weapons, but you have to have a pistol to be in play. When you get tagged, you must drop your pistol and go get another one. You can pick up pistols off the ground that other people have dropped and either use them if they're loaded or ferry them back to your base to add to your life pool. Uh, obviously, if you're carrying three or four of them and you get tagged, then you have to drop them all and the other team can pick them up. And then whoever had the most after um, 
after five minutes, or if one side ran out completely, which didn't end up happening this time, though. One round, we got close. Um, anyway, first, whoever has the most after five minutes wins. The first round was a draw. The second round, my team got thoroughly trounced, and that's unfortunately the one I got footage of. <laughs> No point in tagging them close to their respawn. Yep, yep, let them come to us. And on this side. Let them come to us. Very confident. So we need to push up far enough to be able to get one when we get them. Push up, push up. I got you covered. Run. No, we're <laughs> they're going full defense because they've got all the buff. Oh. oh yeah. A very decisive orange team victory. Well done. Right, who are you and what are your what's your loadout? Spoons. Spoons. I wish I had spoons. I haven't had spoons for mu- <laughs> What? I'm out of darts. No, you aren't. That's a lie. Where is he? He can't call me up. Okay. <laughs> He's gone. I guess you're out of darts now. I am out of darts. Look, you can replace the spoon heads. Ooh. Modular. I like it. <laughs> to battle! Next round was a game we called Carpe Testiculum, Seize the Balls. We have three buckets of ball pit balls uh, in the center of the field, aligned along the center line. And the goal is to ferry as many of them from the buckets to your team's collection point, which was uh, further back on the field, of course. Uh, you can only carry one at a time. If you get tagged while carrying it, you have to drop it. Uh, you can throw them, but you must yell yeet every time you do. And uh, there, there's, there's reasons for that, uh, in addition to just being silly, but... Uh, then, of course, it's a five-minute time, and whichever team has the most balls in their basket at the end was the winner. So, uh, this was the round where I ran the dog ball launcher, because it's, it's less of a round about being effective and more about good teamwork. I did, however, get a couple of important tags with it, where I tagged out 
Uh, Lance was using uh, some of the inflatables as essentially a shield because that's how we determined those worked. And I was able to take one of those out and I was able to get a couple of tags on people's blasters because the ammo that that fires is large enough, it's considered a rocket. So if it hits your blaster, your blaster is destroyed and you have to get a new one. And I was able to take out a couple of key blasters and people then had to take the extra time to either switch to a secondary, switch to a, you know, a, a backup primary or whatever. And it, it uh, just gave us a little more time, a little more edge, uh, pushed things into our favor a little bit. We then didn't get uh, organized right towards the end in collecting as many balls as we could from ones that people had thrown towards our, our goal. And uh, yeah, here's how it went. Go, go, go! You are just, yeah, that's instruction. Oh, hit. Blaster hit. Yeah, I think it's destroyed. Destroyed. Ah. Start ferrying them, that's all we need. We only got four, come on. We got a whole bunch thrown. Hey, Just ferry. One at a time. Ferry, ferry. <laughs> I missed him. Oh, okay. Get an assembly line going. Yeet all the way back. We got each other. Go, just ferry balls. Just go, 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 fast as you can. Go to gates, just get balls. Everybody, everybody. 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 Time's up. Throw him to, throw him to me, throw him to me, come on. Throw him, throw him. More one, more one, more one. In. Right, who are you? And what's your loadout? Chris, Frey. I and see this. Very nice, very nice. What do we got? Ooh, throwables. Very nice, very nice. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A lot. Digging the red. I like all the red. Yup, yup, yup. Very good, very good. Trying to get some video. Some man with a spoon behind you. Don't look. I won't at all. All right, to the field. To the field.
The final round was my favorite and the one I was really looking forward to. We did play two rounds of Titan Ball, uh, which is of course the, the official sport of the crew auxiliary. It's very similar to soccer, except instead of a, kicking a ball around, we use a rocket launcher and everybody's armed. Makes for a much more exciting game in my opinion. I chose to run, again, a very effective loadout. I went with my tower shield, which has the window, which allows me to look over cover without having to worry about getting shot in the head. Uh, and again, I went with my uh, Gavin Fuzzy 9 round pistols, and again ran into the same problem of not being able to switch or holster it quickly because I don't, I didn't have a holster for it, which is just a matter of I need to make a holster for uh, these various pistols, both for these and for my uh, Ultra 2s. I definitely need a good thigh rig on my left side so that I can either have, I'll start with one in the holster and one in my hand, and then if I have to drop the one in my hand, I can draw the one from my holster later and then reholster that one if necessary. Because there were a couple of times where if I'd had a blaster, I could have cleared out the enemy and would have made things a lot simpler, but because I had the rocket launcher in my hand and didn't have a way to switch weapons quickly, um, we very nearly didn't get the point. Uh, as it was, we got very, very lucky. I pulled the trigger just as uh, I got tagged, and so rocket was in the air, and so it counted. Um, but here's, here's the footage from that. Shut up and sit down. Go! Push up, push up! <laughs> grab a launcher, grab a launcher! Come here, get this rocket! Push up, push up, grab that, grab the launcher behind you, grab the rock. Yep, I, I'll cover. Oh, I'm a hit. Someone with a rocket, get moving, go, go, go! Get up here, Jose, get the rocket! Fox on me! Shut up and sit down. You gotta pump it! I did pump it, it lost pressure. In that thing, right? Yep. Yes! Yeah. Go! Oh, I did a thing! <laughs> I did a thing! James, let's go! That's a go! Oh, now it's fine. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, dude, that was a good shot. That was a really good <laughs> shot. Shut up. Who cares? We're already in the We're orange and scary. They're coming down the gauntlet! <laughs> oh, it's the <laughs> killing Brent. Oh, I mean, it's still a fight. Launcher, launcher! Launcher? Got it. No, no, we're going with it. <laughs> Hand it to one of our. Launcher. Okay. Grab the launcher, we're heading up for a rocket. All right. Ditch this thing. Yep. You're with me, Flux. I have no support except for a rocket. Oh, you just got shot. Come on, shot. Jesus. You got a launcher? Okay, we're moving up for a rocket. Up this way, follow me. Oh, I'm a hit. Hit, hit. 
Hit, hit, hit. I need some cover! Go, go, go! Cover me, cover me! Watch him, watch him on that side, that side! I need cover! Loops around the corner, cover me! Rocket was in the air. Oh, he got me just as I pulled the trigger. Nice, yeah. nice, hey, done. Yeah, Woo! GG, GG. Yeah. Yeah. He and I pulled the trigger at the same time he got me. Oh. I hit the target. <laughs> So yeah, an absolutely wonderful event. Everyone had fun. I've also got the, the clubhouse or the bunkhouse. Uh, much more put together. I'm still waiting on a couple more pieces of furniture to completely finish that. Uh, there's there's always going to be improvements. We definitely need more of this and more of that. And, and it's just one of those adding a little bit every event and figuring out, okay, we solved that problem that we had last time. What's the new problem? How can I make this better? How can we get these events to run smoother? How can we make them more enjoyable? How can we make them more fun? And uh, it's, it's definitely becoming I mean, absolutely the highlight of my month these events it's also pretty much the entirety of my social life right now and uh, i'm really liking how they're coming together uh still long-term planning hoping to host larger events the biggest issue there is bathroom facilities i either am gonna have to rent train i'm not gonna have to rent a train that would be fun a train battle anyway i'm either gonna have to rent porta potties or i'm gonna have to get uh, additional bathrooms built on the property which is expensive i don't know about porta potties they might not be so expensive and i probably wouldn't do the public events every month i would probably do them every couple of months and then have the private events every month so we'll see how it turns out lots of plans coming down for for raising revenue for all of that obviously there's a lot of plans for merch um looking into how to better utilize my um patreon page in order to to increase revenue so that I can improve these events and so that I can start hosting the bigger events and get better footage and all of that but um, yeah a lot of fun my thanks to everyone who helped make it happen also uh, my thanks to Abel Crewman Frey who I use some of his video footage in these to get uh, different angles of certain things certain hits and, and all of that so my thanks to him for providing that and uh, thank you guys for watching <laughs>